Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Wodge. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to show you how simple and fast it is to upgrade the internal hard drive on the new PS4 Slim. And thanks to this new side access port, you can pretty much uh, complete an entire replacement for your hard drive within a half an hour, 45 minutes. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, get a replacement drive. You can either go with a mechanical 2.5 inch hard drive or go with an SSD like we did. We're using the one terabyte Samsung e Evo 850 and this is going to give us a huge improvement in terms of overall load times and obviously the amount of capacity and things we can load onto our system. Now before starting anything you want to make sure that you back up all your saved games and you can do this fairly easily by inserting a, a USB thumb drive then going into settings applications and saved game management and then save data in system storage here you'll have the option to copy all your game saves onto that USB hard drive you are going to still need to download download all the actual games themselves once we've installed the new SSD onto the system which is going to be a little bit of a long process especially if you have a big gaming library. You can pretty much skip this step if you do have a PlayStation uh, Plus membership all of your saved games are already uploaded to the PlayStation Network automatically. Now for the installation process you're going to need obviously the drive that we have over here a USB a thumbstick as well as a small Phillips head screwdriver and that's pretty much it besides a computer to download the PlayStation PlayStation firmware. Now the first step is to remove the side cover located at the uh, rear right hand portion of the system and this is covering our hard drive uh, cradle. So once you remove that by hand you can actually just unscrew the single screw uh, located at the rear of the console and uh, this uh, Phillips head screw will pretty much allow us to relieve the hard drive cradle from its internal enclosure. Once you have the cradle in hand you can pretty much uh, just uh, unscrew the four small Phillips head screws that are securing that mechanical hard drive in place and simply replace that drive with your SSD and just follow the same uh, orientation for how that drive was originally installed so everything lines up correctly. Uh, once you have that done you can pretty much slide the cradle back into its internal spot and uh, put in that same uh, Phillips head screw and cover everything back up and that's pretty much it for the actual physical change of the drive. As you can see it's very very simple. Now the next step is to uh, download a, a full version of the PlayStation operating system and you can do this uh, by going directly to the link provided in the description below. It's pretty much the PlayStation website and uh, you want to just uh, download that full firmware. Once the firmware is downloaded you can insert a, a two gigabyte or higher USB thumbstick into your PC and we're going to create a PS4 folder onto that thumbstick and inside that we're going to make another folder labeled update in all caps and we're going to put our firmware into this update folder as you see over here. Now once we have that done we can uh, take our a USB thumbstick and insert it into a free USB port on your PS4 and uh, make sure everything is off and we're going to put the PlayStation 4 in safe mode to initialize our installation. So we're going to hold the power button for about seven seconds and you'll hear a uh, beep sound and then your console will boot up in its initial safe mode setting. You want to make sure that you have your uh, controller also plugged in through the USB connection and it's going to prompt you to hit the uh, PS button onto the controller and uh, once you do that we can now have the option to initialize our installation so we can actually install our uh, firmware that's on our USB thumbstick onto the SSD drive itself and it's pretty simple and straightforward. You just go through the basic steps as you see over here takes about uh, 15 to 20 minutes depending upon the speed of your SSD for the full installation to complete. But once it's completed, you're pretty much done. Now you have the firmware installed into your system. You're going to pretty much uh, start up your PlayStation 4 for the first time as a new console. You're going to sign in, you're going to download all your games, and you can also restore all of your saved game files from that USB thumbstick that we saved earlier on. Or if you have a PlayStation Plus account, you don't really need to worry about that but pretty much that's really it as you can see it's a very simple and straightforward process and I would definitely recommend a lot of people to do it if they want a faster PlayStation 4 and certainly one that has more storage than the standard models that are available right now if you haven't done so already make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more uh, content like this give us a thumbs up if you like this video and thanks again for watching take care